I hope you guys can see me and hear me. Go ahead and let me know if you can hear and see me, please. Let me know if you can hear and see me. All righty. So um, let me know. All right. So basically what I was saying when I, I mean, I have got interrupted about three or four times. It doesn't even matter. Open heaven is real. Sow your way through. I'm telling you what, what you're giving is, is less than what God want to give you. Oh, come on somebody. I'm telling you, I have never, ever, I mean, since it's just, well, it's just spirit. And if I tell you the blessings that everyone has been reporting from houses, cars, all kind of things, this is an open heaven hour for the people of God. You want to know why? Because we've been through so much stuff until God is letting us know, guess what? I didn't forget about you. It's still going to happen. I'm still going to bless you. Come on, somebody. You know, I, I, I got, I got to go here. I wasn't going to, but I have to. We've been, well, my background is I've been brought up to where if, if you ask for this or you ask for that, then you're not real in Christ. Or if you see people that have more money and this and that. And I really think that we've been taught wrong because God always take me back to the blessings of Abraham. He said, how did I take care of Abraham? God took care of Abraham supernaturally. He took care of him supernaturally. But remember, they were always sowing and reaping. I mean, Solomon was the greatest. A lot of people don't understand what's happening. There's a transfer of wealth in this hour. Come on. I'm telling you what God said. There is a transfer of wealth in this hour like never before. But you have to be in position and you have to listen. Come on, somebody. And the enemy is trying to take you out of position. Case in point, this is the fourth time I've had to get up on here just to say what I'm saying. The enemy don't. The enemy doesn't fight anything that's not real. Come on. Y'all know it's real. I try not to say those uh, fillers, but the enemy doesn't do that because he knows I'm talking about biblical principles and God wants to bless us in this hour because we have been worn, we have been torn, we have been through this, we have been through that. Have, when, how many times have you prayed and said, you know what, God, I've done everything. I fasted. I've prayed. I, I've done this. I've done that. And it felt like it just didn't happen. I realized something. It's about the timing of God, but you have to prepare for it and you have to be obedient. I've been saying this since January the 1st and it's real. I'm talking about the things that have been happening even in my life got me looking like, wait a minute. I know God's real. Don't get it twisted. But I'm telling you, I have never seen the increase in every area of my life, especially spirituality. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So go ahead and do what God have called you to do. And, and let me tell you something. Another thing. God will make you sacrifice like never before. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. And But the rewards that are come in. Because it's still going to happen for you. But let me tell you something. There's going to be opposition because you're trying to get in position. But God is already, it's already done. Come on, somebody. It's already done. God said it's already done. You just got to believe it and walk in that thing, God says. Like never before. So today is two, this is the second month, it's the 22, 2022. What do you think is happening? Come on, somebody. And I told you, I said it before, but uh, I don't know if y'all going to be able to, because the live been breaking up so much since I've been on here for the four times, right? Um, I was talking about spirit. I was talking about how, I don't know who's the, who was it, because I didn't get a name or anything, but they had their flights at 2222 today all day long spirit Air, airlines did and they sent me the email they did it anonymously but i guess they wanted me to know that they are practicing the kingdom principles what i've been telling y'all since january the first they're working it's all you have to do is believe it and receive it god says so i just want to get up on here and tell you be obedient to god say strong in the lord today is also the first day of the fast y'all know what time it is 21 day down you fast we are going to be blessed and it's not just about monetary gain it's about in every area of your life your peace your health your wealth your children your husband those dreams come on somebody those blessings that you've been waiting on this is the time said the lord i'm gonna say it again this is the time said the lord i'm gonna say it again this is the time grab it down the kingdom of god suffer violence and the violent what take it by force Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. So be encouraged. I am praying for every last one of you. And I'm talking, I'm not just saying that I actually pray. I pray. I'm gonna keep praying. So be strong in the Lord. Do what God have called you to do. Sow your way through. 
pray your way through, fast your way through. Come on, somebody, somebody write that on the comments. This is not a game. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. So your way through. I'm going to put all the information. Do what God tells you to do. All right, be blessed, everyone. And I hope you're joining us with the fast. Because I'm telling you, when you fast... And we're praying for the whole nation. We're praying for everybody. We're just praying. We're praying. Um, that that nausea y'all hear people are doing stars. I didn't know it sounded like that. All right. So God bless you all. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Let's stay strong in this hour. We've got to stay steadfast and unmovable. He never said it was going to be easy. But he did say, Lo, I'll be with you even until death. So God bless you and be blessed. Be encouraged. <laughs>